Katie, welcome back to my channel. Today is just a quick little update on life things. Um, for writing update wise, I hit the midpoint, kind of, yes, I think I'm there, <laughs> of my adult book that I was working on for Camp Nano. Um, I rewrote it in August and I hit the midpoint, so I'm super excited. I got to 35k, which was my goal. I'm really hoping I could reach 70k for the second half and um, I definitely had to start creating more things. Um, it kind of felt a little repetitive in what they were doing, which of course is the point of the like plot, but um, I needed to start throwing in some things, so I think that's going to be perfect for the second half of the second act. Um, so we'll see what that does for my word count. It's been interesting <laughs> as I'm writing because um, I think, I don't know if I said this in the last one, I don't think I did, so I don't think I got this far. They've like admitted to themselves or to each other that they do have feelings, but like their fear or um, shard or whatever is still getting in the way. And I was like, I really don't know, this happens every time, I'm like, I really don't know if I should be putting this certain things like this early in the book. And sometimes I have had to push it back, but I think it might work out this time because of the other stuff that's happening in the second act that's going to continue to keep them apart and do whatever it's going to do to them. So I'm I'm curious about how this book is going to play out. Um, I know the end game, um, and yeah, we'll see all the wrenches that I throw at them in the meantime. I had this idea that I wanted because like um, in my last one where I did the update, I talked about Christy's style versus mine where you don't... She doesn't really give them a whole like honeymoon period of being happy. She immediately hits them again and I like the honeymoon period. And so I was gonna make a video on like, um, like similar, like your brand as a writer, like what tropes you are your favorites, um, if you cause agony for your main character or not, or like how much agony do they get any happy moments, things like that because I'm just so curious about how different people write and um, how they structure and plot their books out and their character arcs and all of that. Like, I think it's so fascinating to me. Um, but instead I came up with a topic to channel it into nano stuff. So I'm gonna make a different kind of post for that later and um, have examples and ideas versus like me just talking about it here and y'all hopefully responding in the comments. So um, look forward to that. I have like already given up. I made it halfway through using a bullet journal and um, it was good but it was bulky and I wasn't actually really using it which is why I never like kept a calendar to begin with. Um, I got this guy because it was a little bit smaller and really um, I'm only keeping track again of just like my YouTube video stuffs or my um, side business and so it's still not like necessary but I always just need a place to put down things I usually put it in my notes app but um, I also wanted to update y'all that this scenery might be a little different I think I had another video come up um, talking about author Brittany Wang's books but with this same background but I wanted to show y'all a bit of what I did because this bookshelf used to be over here not this one the black one that I used to have in my background and I was like why do I have all these fantasy books behind me when my brand is contemporary romance and so I wanted to redo this space. Um, we are clearing out the front room um, to be a future nursery. Uh, so we found out that we're having a baby girl and I'll post maybe a picture right here. <laughs> um, we're so so excited. My son this whole time has been calling her baby sister so I'm so glad he got his wish. <laughs> and I've already like, I'm not due till February but of course I've already Super excited getting nursery things, and maybe I'll post another picture here. And yeah, so this was in the front room, so we moved it in here, which was perfect for me to put more books on this shelf. I have a shelf in my room that had a bunch of books on it, and now it's got like my classic books, my Christian books, and different things like that, and more of um, shelf decor that I couldn't put over there. Um, so this is what this looks like. So up here is just kind of random stuff, doesn't really flow, um, but... We've got just some books I've read and I'm going to keep adding to this space, the space that doesn't really flow with other stuff because this is my Sarah J Mass shelf. This is my journals. We got one fantasy series, but the rest is contemporary. Oh, hey, coffee. It's that time of year, you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm super excited. I'm going to grow this shelf because I love those writers so much. 
And then on this bottom shelf, this is kind of my TBR that like I haven't gotten to in years, so we'll see. And then um, writing craft books and my writing journals. Um, a few bookish merch along the way and things that I normally put in my pictures for Instagram. I'm just so excited, so in love with this space. Like, I need more Funko Pops. Like, it's just, I uh, love it. And I also got to kind of redo this corner. Um, this is my UBAM. I sell children's books on the side as well. So yeah, that's kind of that update. Um, I do plan just for fun to pitch into Pitch Wars. I don't think I'm doing Pit Mad this Tuesday, but y'all won't watch this video till after that anyway. Um, or Thursday, whenever Pit Mad is. <laughs> um, but I will be doing Pitch Wars and seeing how that goes. And then, um, really, I just, I think I'm on pace if I spend September finishing my adult that half and letting it rest. I want to prep in October for my next adult book and then write that in November, but I have videos about that coming out later as well. Don't forget about the writing community convention on October 3rd. I have a video coming out, or it just came out, so go look at that from last week um, and that'll update you on October. And yeah, lots of good stuff coming. I love this time of year. I love fall and just like gearing up for writing and holidays and everything. Let me know what your favorite uh, part of fall is. If y'all have any like rituals y'all do, like going to the pumpkin patch or festivals. I know COVID's kind of making it tough right now, but um, any writing goals that y'all have coming up or reading goals, um, I'm just pretty much reading author Brittany Wang's books right now and I'm hoping not to get any more just so I can focus on writing and life right now. But yeah, other than that, um, I was really having like a dip in my author tube ideas but I think I'm kind of getting the ball rolling on those again so I hope that y'all are on the lookout and will watch these videos and join me on the journey for the rest of 2021. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. Give me any of your life updates down below and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!